Okay, this is Anti Squad. Uh, it's a game I didn't really buy on purpose. It was a part of some uh, a bundle that I uh, that I picked up. Uh, well, sometime in March, I think, and uh, then. Uh, just before the weekend, they announced uh, a Linus version. So, I played it for about uh, half an hour yesterday. And, uh, uh, basically been doing tutorial missions. So that's those three. I think they're my completed missions. So uh, let's go and do a new mission. Oh, no. Right, here's the new mission. Right, here we go. So it is a um, you know uh, like many games I've been playing recently. Yeah, there are many games we've been buying recently. It's a uh, squad based, turn based strategy game. I want to say buying, I mean, you know, looking at a Linux, it seems to be the uh, thing. Now, alright, the DEA has given us a contract. So there's this uh, cartoon vibe to the whole thing. We've got to get to the mark point. You can see where I can move people to. And uh, so each guy you select has a number of action points. We need the action points to move and to shoot. So if he moves there, uh, he can be shot at. So what I'm going to do is move him there. And then select someone else. See what you're going to do. Now he's a demolition expert. So. Take a shot because he's a sniper. Let's do that then because he's got 40 action points left. Might as well. Oh. Took him out. Oh, and I've got an achievement. That's nice. So these guys have now noticed us. I don't know that I can do anything. No, I can't. So I think what I'll do is I'll spread my guys out a bit. End the turn. Yep, I don't know about that. Okay. So he's taking a bit of beating. Ooh. Some big guys over here.
So, I'm going to move him over there. Um, no, let's move him. Yeah, that'll do. So, I'm ending the turn anyway. So, it looks like I've got to get over. Right, we can't get through there. This bloke's alert and angry. Okay. So, while I'm here... We'll loot the corpses. Picked up a special ability, or well, special ability helper. Right, that's his user put his action points. Now, can we shoot this bloke? Yes. What's this ability to do? Action, more action points. So let's just check this bloke while we're here and we'll have a look at his status. He's got health, he's got armour. He's got a range of three squares. And he's a French demolition man. We've got a small med kit. So you can give them all different gear. They have different abilities. Much like your uh, regular regular uh, turn-based strategy games. He's going to take the shot, I think. Maybe not. Necessary to be fair, because I really should have used that on a whole bunch of people. But never mind. So he's out of action points. Let's move my, my main man up. Oh, and I used the item to heal him up. And we've got another achievement. You can tell I've only played this for the first time. Now, I did find the tutorial a little annoying because it kept popping up, uh, you know, help. But the, uh, the help was basically getting in the way of, you know, getting in the way of you trying to do stuff. So it would say, oh, do this thing. And I'd go, okay. And you try to do the thing and actually you couldn't do the thing because the help was in the way. Have you got any special items we can use? Not really. To be honest, I've sort of lost track of the tutorial. The other thing that's slightly annoying about the uh, controls is it does this mouse thing when you're at the edge of the screen. Although, to be fair, I'm fairly sure I turned that off. Options. 
English internal. Turn the volumes down. Indications. We've got all them on. We've got all them on. Uh, maybe it just doesn't work on Linux. There's an option to turn off the scrolling at the edge of the screen. It doesn't seem to have turned off. And see, see how it scrolls there? When I'm trying to click on that, I don't want it to scroll when I'm trying to select a square. I want it to, uh, I want it to select the square I'm clicking on. Yeah, I'm ending anyway. I'm going to take these two out. Turns armor bonus. Let's do that then. Yeah. I'll move him there. No. Let's leave him there. Cool. And that's it. Sneak up on the mat. Good job having that armor bonus, really. Let's move him there. I have 50 points left. No, let's move him here. And let's attack this bloke with a knife. Mystery box. Alright, so we can't go through. Let's see, can I move him again? Ah, because he got bonus action. He got bonus action for, um, Doing the melee kill. Alright, they can't shoot from there. Let's now move this bloke into here. Now, can we do anything? No, not enough action points. Move cost 15. Can't afford to buy one of those. Don't think that will help. So it didn't work. Never mind. Where's my sniper at? Let's carry on. No, I did put the armor on this dude, so. Anti personnel landmine. Very good to me. Sorry for it. The bloke with a big machine gun coming. Oh, I'll complete the challenge. That's you dead. I'm from the team to pick it up. I just want you to do it. Alright. 
And what I'm going to do now is uh, run around the back. Let me move 55, let me move 40. I don't think there's any way I can get into range of shooting that guy. Okay, it's move. I was trying to click on the square. I wish it would stop moving things with the mouse. But never mind. Let's do that. And end the turn. Yes, I know. So, we can snipe this bloke. I guess we'll do that to him as well. Ah, ah, ooh. Good to know. We're going to continue round. Taken by surprise. Yes, I want to get it. It really just doesn't want to... Move, does it? There we go. Right. So what's this break up to? He's nearly dead. We should get him next time. So aside from the control issues, it's quite a fun game. You know, it's a bit it's a bit light-hearted, considering it's all about shooting and death. It's, it's about as light-hearted as you could really, you know, hope for. This this not being just letting you uh, move the camera where you want is quite annoying, and its constant insistence to move the camera for you is quite annoying. Other than that, it's basically a very cheap game. Come on, move. Hey. Has it? Now, can we move him into firing position? No. Do the shield thing again. Okay, done. Man. Shoot him on the side of the head. There we go. So there's two of them there. What I'm going to do is run straight at them. Shield on, draw their fire. Yes, I know. And uh, grenade them. That's what I'm going to do. That worked 
beautifully. Him and knife him. No, I can't. Not enough for knifing. Now, there was a way I could melee. I'm not sure exactly how that works. That's what the punch symbol means. Close enough for melee. I can't remember if I uh, should have paid more attention during the tutorial. Oh, excellent. Any more guys to kill? We've got them all. Got to get to that location. Right. There we go. No idea why he suddenly ran off in the opposite direction. Go there. Go on. Go there. Yes, I do. But you're the one that told me I needed to get to these locations. moment, which is a good job, because it seems pointless running to this point anyway. Go on. Interesting. Okay, so we got there in order to have some story. We completed the mission. Uh, 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 uh. I got some prizes. I've earned two thirds of something or other. Two-thirds of the way through a challenge. And the challenge is lose a team member in battle. Which doesn't, to me, seem like the challenge I want to uh, do. But there you go. It's a challenge. So that's it. For now, anyway. It's a uh, native Linux version. I think it's a Unity game underneath. It's a, it's a fun game. Let's have a look at their uh, secret package. Ooh. What did I win? Yeah, an armor shard. Excellent. Team game, 
much like the you know the other the other squad squad shooters we've been playing, um, except a more a more uh, cartoony vibe. Seems quite fun. Controls are a little frustrating, uh, but I think if you're paying attention, which you know you ought to be, it's a strategy game. It's uh, it's quite fun. Uh, yeah, it's fairly cheap. Get it on Steam. Um, support indie developers making Linux games. 